So the average monthly cost to charge your Tesla in the United States is just over $49. But depending on where you live, it could be over $100. So I found some data here that might help you when thinking about how much it's gonna cost once you finally get that Tesla you've been wanting. Hey, thanks for joining me here on Teslanomics. I'm Ben Sullins, and each week what we do is we decode the data behind Tesla, a company that's really changing the world like no one else is. And while everyone else or a lot of folks focus on the flashy sex appeal of it, we here like to dig into the economics, the facts and figures that really make up what this company's doing because there's a message in there, and if we just look and listen, we'll actually hear it and be able to understand it a lot better. Uh, thanks for joining me, and let's dive into the data now and figure out how much it's really gonna cost you each month once you finally take delivery of that new Tesla. So the cost of electricity can vary widely and even people in the same city can have different rates. Where I'm from, Phoenix originally, there is APS and SRP and depending on what part of town you live in, you'll have a different company that may charge a different kilowatt hour price. So I found some data on this and it goes all the way back to the beginning of 2001. So this is really interesting and helpful to understand how electricity prices in every state in the United States have been trending and what it might mean for the future if you're looking to buy a Tesla or any other kind of an EV. Now I know that this data isn't gonna be accurate for every single person. It's of average for the state and like I mentioned, it varies widely. So uh, take it with a grain of salt, but it is an estimate and it's something that I think is fun to look at. So let's dive into the data now and see what it's trying to tell us. So the data here comes from the US Energy Information Administration. Uh, they have it broken down by the type, residential, commercial, industrial, etc. They also have it broken down by state and census division. I like to think of that as region. And I actually use this site, which has an API to pull monthly data for every state in the United States going back to 2001. That gave me this listing here, which has the latest price, the average price, the cents per kilowatt hour, so the dollar amount essentially that you're paying or you're paying on average for a kilowatt hour of electricity. You can see Hawaii is the most expensive. California comes in at number seven with 18 cents per kilowatt hour. New York just right behind it at 17, etc. So this data was really helpful in pulling this together because then I could see trending over time. And one of the things I noticed right away when looking at this trend all the way back to 2001 up to Q1 of 2017 was that Hawaii has had consistently some of the most expensive electricity in the United States. No surprise that solar is becoming more popular there and batteries and Tesla are really getting involved. So you can see that high level information here on top. And then down below, I thought, why don't I put the average cost by state to charge your Tesla every month? So you can hover over all of these and you can see what the cost might be for whatever state that is that you're in. But I didn't want to end there because how you drive and how many miles you drive will change it. So I wanted to get as accurate as I could. So I partnered up with my friends from Teslab. They're the ones that have that social app where you can uh, check the efficiency and who drives the fastest or is driven the longest when you're Tesla. And it's a, a way to measure how you're driving. It's kind of like Fitbit for your Tesla. And they shared some data with me about the watt hours per mile. So this is essentially how many watt hours or how much electricity does it take to go one mile in a Tesla. And there's a lot of data that they shared here that is all aggregated up into this histogram. What this histogram does is it explains where are kind of the slower, more conservative driving versus the faster, more aggressive driving styles in terms of energy use. So this will play a factor when it comes to you figuring out what the costs are to charge your Tesla each month. So what I did was basically on the low end, I looked, there are about 11% of people that are at the 250 watt hours per mile. So I assumed, okay, if you're being really conservative, you're just below that maybe at 200. Then looking right in the middle, we see that over 42% of people are between 300 and 400 watt hours per mile. So for this, I used 300 as let's say a normal driving. Then on the high end, I used 450. And you can see that we have about 14% of people that fall between 
400 and 450 watt hours per mile to drive the Tesla. So all of this plays a factor in calculating your monthly cost. And on this calculator that I built here, which you can use, you can go to teslanomics.co and find this video, and this will be embedded on there, as well as there'll be a link in the description of this video you can choose all these variables. And that's why I explained where the data came from so you can understand that. So when you choose your state, I'm in California, it's gonna pick the latest average electricity cost for you. Then when you choose your driving style, that's gonna calculate how many watt hours per mile. Then how many miles do you drive? And I defaulted it here to the US average. And this is what'll give you your estimated monthly cost. So you can see for somebody in California, for somebody that drives normal or moderately, and then also drives the normal amount, 1100 miles per month, your estimated monthly cost would be about $62.12 to charge your car. Compare that to gas and maybe what you're already paying today if you live in California, and you can do simple math in your head about how much you might be saving. So that's helpful, but I also wanted to make it personal to you. And so, you know, if I wanted to use this, I would choose my state, it's already in California. I do drive a bit fast and aggressive, and you can see it then updated, but I only drive about 800 miles per month. So if I do that, you can see that my estimated monthly cost is about $59. I'm saving 3,800 miles per year in terms of the miles that I'm not driving because I don't drive a lot. And my driving style is actually costing me 14% more than the average a normal style would. Let's say I was in Texas. I can go here and look up Texas. And you can see it updates. now. One thing I didn't explain yet is this chart at the very bottom. And I put this in here because this is something that you may want to take into consideration when thinking about whether or not an electric vehicle is for you. And that is, how has the cost of energy been trending and where might it go in the future? Here in Texas, you can see that it's actually pretty low. We're you know at five cents per kilowatt hour and 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And this is every single month going back to 2001. So this is a fair amount of data. And then at the very end, what I've done is I've actually generated a forecast that shows the next 12 months. So you can see these are estimated and you can see January 2017, what the price might be all the way through to December of 2017. And this is using a, a fairly advanced statistical model which takes into account seasonality and historical averages and tries to project them out. So this is something that is usually pretty good when predicting, especially when you have this much data. Not to say that that's a guarantee, but just something to think about. If the price of electricity in your state is continuing to rise, then that may be the tipping point for you when it really makes sense to buy a Tesla. So there you have it. Uh, depending on where you live, you can pay as little as 35 bucks a month up to over 100 if you're in Hawaii. And there's also things that play in effect, like how much you drive as well as your driving style. And even the temperature of where you live can have an impact on how much energy it actually takes to power your car. So lots of variables there, but I thought this was a fun tool and I hope you find it useful. So question of the day, if you are a current Tesla owner, I would love to know how this matches up with your actual cost. Uh, if you haven't seen how to do that, you can go check out one of my other videos where I actually break it down and show you how I calculate it. Um, but, and also just if you are in the market for a Tesla, does this help you or not? Is this really helping you figure out what the cost may be afterwards? And how does it compare to your gas prices? So links to this data and all the sources and everything else are in the description below. As always, if you have questions or wanna dig deeper, go do that. And if you are in the market for a new Tesla, don't forget to use our referral code. There's only four left for this quarter, so get them while they're still there. And you can find that at teslanomics.co slash TD. What it'll do is it'll redirect you over to the Tesla site with our unique referral code already added. Uh, so you can just go through and order your Tesla right there. And please let me know. I'd love to chat with you and figure out what you got and even maybe send a picture. It's just fun to build this community this way. So thanks again for joining me and I'll see you back here next time.